Yep, I definitely like the Sword of the Zephyr. It will replace my sword here, which is going to be nice. While that's going on, I'm going to move some of these. Oh, shoot. That was stupid of me. Oh, well, doesn't matter. I forgot that this was in there, and I should have removed it beforehand because um, the Concentrated Evil will not pop out unless you have the Wand of Reversal. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. I can just make another one. I'm pretty sure it's pretty simple to make. If I can find my book. So I think it was under this one. Yeah, Concentrated. No, that's the Hardness of Rage. Tainted, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Concentrate evil. Soul sand, got it. Stone slab, got it. Tainted crystal, got it. So it's not like I can't make another one. It just would have been smart if I remembered before I did that. I could. Let's see. This? No idea. That's a brand new item, actually. Um, they added a lot of new items in what 2.1.4, so and I don't even know what they all are yet. So this one I've never tested. If I end up researching it, I'll definitely know then. <laughs> but yeah, that one's a new one. <laughs> nah, I won't spawn one in, just because it is an easy recipe. If it was one that was like... Me making a really stupid mistake and it's something that's really hard to make maybe I'll give you guys the vote for giving it back but for something like that I'll just make another one so let's put some of these items in here so we don't like noobishly lose them so anything else in here I don't need this in here this I do but the other one I don't put the duplicator in here See how that research is doing. I can hear it scribbling away. Scribble, scribble, scribble. And it's 25%. Come on. Come on. Here, I'll even add melons to help you. Because you ate all my bookshelves. If you go down again, I'm just going to remove you. And then get more bookshelves. I think that recipe I need to research as well. But that's one that I messed around with in my test world and it was a lot of fun to play with. It's just fluctuating at the last one. It's like I just need one more success mon. This is not the treacherous one. That one would take forever. There we go. So the charm of the dead. Crafted like so. A brain and a skull. Oh, guess what? I have a brain and a skull. Because I knew I'd do this. I only need one, by the way. And it uses the uh, dark enchanter, I believe. Oops, that's not what I wanted. This. Yes, the dark one. And this forbidden charm, or foreboding charm, warps the mind of the undead creatures, making them ignore you and turn on their fellows. Keep it in mind that it can wear out and will be destroyed if overused. And look how much Vis and Taint it uses. It's quite a bit. But that's okay, because I want it, like now. And I, if you guys don't know why I want it so badly, you will in a sec. <laughs> so. Brain, skull, <laughs> you unsubscribe so you could subscribe again. I'm that awesome that you need to subscribe twice. Charm of the dead. Just put in your inventory like that. I'm pretty sure it'll work even in here, but I have yet to test that. Um, so we can test that tonight. But yeah, that's all I needed this for, so I can remove that now. So, let's, uh, let's put the Charm of the Dead back in here. 
and see if we get anything. I'm I'm doubting that we will, but I mean, might as well, seeing as we feel like it. Yeah, nothing. Didn't think so. So, do we have any tainted crystal in here? No, we don't. You know, I really should just make a double chest for that. Oh, you're so cute. You're gonna be my friend. You follow me around. So we need another chest. So let's go in here, I guess. And craft one. My friend's pushing me around. He's giving me a terrible back massage, but he's trying really hard. So give him credit for that. I'll give you one too. Back massage. Oh, back massage didn't work. Sorry. <laughs> Roxas says that I am amazing. Well, I'm glad you think so. Some people don't. I don't understand why. They think that I am not as amazing as you think so. But I'm glad you think so. And those of you who are on the stream with me. Let's put some of this stuff away. Spider eyes included. The rest of this is like I can get again. It's not like the end of the world. Okay. So we want bookshelves. Oh yeah, I could put this in there. And I also want some more tanks. I thought I had more tanks. Oh, you know what? I know why I wanted the... Uh, I'll get the Dark Infuser again. And then we needed a Taint Crystal and a slab. I think I have a stone slab over here. So, oh, whoops. Didn't mean to place that, meant to right click this. Stone slab. And I know I have soul sand somewhere. There we are, and soul sand. <laughs> so there and there. And see you later, penguin. There's the concentrated evil again. See, so it wasn't that hard to make. Need more books. Guess I could have my automated farm run for a little bit while I'm doing this and get some books for me. Does something like land on that? No, it's just isn't resprouting. It's being slow. Hello, Anonymous. I didn't buy XSplit. I was just, well, I was using the beta version back when it didn't add the stupid little water tag and let you use everything. And now it's that is released. You have to like buy it. And I'm like, I'm not paying 70 bucks a month for a software that never worked for me in the beta. Like I tested it every month. I tried to make a stream with it and it never worked for me. It was always glitchy, always finicky. And I'm like, I'm not going to pay you guys 80 bucks for a software that didn't work. <laughs> so I know it works for some people. It just doesn't work for me. For whatever reason, my computer performs better without it. I swear I had a... Yeah, there we go. I'm like, I know I have like a couple stacks of this because I was building this house out of it. So we will put this here and then that there. How do we want to move these items around? So what we could do is have like the items like so. So we got the dark crucible or Enchanter, then we got the normal enchanter, and then like the duplicator, and then like the repair, and then the thomic crystallizer, and then we can just like run pipes like so to all of them. And then run it like that, so you don't really see the pipes easily. And then my tanks will be like that.
Hey, what's up? Where are you? Where'd you go? Stop running away. I want to see if you give me green. Give me an earth and you. You shock, I fire. Fire burn. Just die already. Ow. That hurt. So all I got was the uh, the shell. My co-op is on Minecraft 1.2.3, uh, I think, right now. But we're going to be upgrading it soon. After the next invasion. See, that could work. And then we just need a place to toss things. Like a crucible. Come on, break. Thank you. So you put like the crucible here. We need some more pipe. Oh, we do have enough pipes. So crucible could go here. And we get like a pipe here. And then items will go like there. So let me just. Hmm. Don't have a lot of room. So this will be a slow transfer. And might as well make it daytime, so let's do that. Sleepy time! <laughs> hey, Medforth. I know you were the one who commented saying that you were on episode 7 last, um... Uh, when I said that I was announcing that I was doing the live stream. I believe that was you. My server is, the IP for it, actually I'll just put that up, is in the description below, but my server is uh, just normal Minecraft. You don't need any mods or anything to get it to work. Now my future plan is to put filters through the system. And so I guess I could do this. Have it disconnected like so and then run like filters I think I got the filter recipe let's get that out no I don't have the filter recipe that's weird I swear I had the filter recipe but maybe not let's see Huh, guess not. That's one of the things that I definitely need to research then. Because that will definitely help. Because I could put like some filters in here and like make it go across like so. And that way, I pretty much have pure Vs in these tanks and I don't have to run these filters. Which I'm going to turn off by now. Because I don't need any more taint to be pumped out of the system at the moment and I'll just have it go currently just directly connected but yeah the filters I'm pretty sure they are a research item but of course not all the research items show up here either but not the filter, not these filters, the other filter, the um, this filter, the purifier. The purifier will take the taint out without putting it into the environment, which is preferred because as you can see, just through running that little bit, I already have quite a bit of taint here. 
So it's not good. I don't want that. So I want a purifier, which I do believe is a research item. And it and I believe the recipe includes a a Tome of Dawn. Tomb of Dawn, Tome of Dawn, whatever. It requires one of those, I believe, in the recipe. So uh I guess we could try it with melons. I don't Oh yeah, that's right. We've been keeping this thing running for a while. Let's see if it got any where. I'm streaming with Flash Media Live Encoder to output the video, and then I'm using DX Tori to capture the video and save it to my hard drive at the same time because Twitch has a very poor export feature. It exports in like I think 15 minute chunks or two hour chunks. And when I tried it last time, the audio became unsynced. It had nothing to do with my actual recording. It had completely to do with the exporting. So I'm doing it all by um, myself now. I save it while I'm streaming. So DX Tori does that really well. And put the books in here and get some more books. Five books is just enough to get this thing started. Oh, I should probably grab the melons too. And I swear I put them in one of these. Probably. Hmm. I like a stack of melons. Maybe I put it in this one. No. I'm losing all my stuff. That's okay. Oh, I kept it in here. That's where it was. <laughs> I'm like, where's my melons? I didn't use them all, did I? Okay, let's do, let's do, let's do this one. And I just want this to have one orb. There we go. And then we'll do the treacherous one with one orb. And then I can trust melons to at least be more efficient. Um, I just feel better having at least one. <laughs> there we go. All right, now we can do that. We'll use the automated crafting table over here to make more melons. I really should have one for melons though, but it's okay. So just put that in there and then put the bread back and eat the spare. Yum, melon. Oh, you and your stubbornness. I'll show you what this is used for now while that goes. I want to use a taint crystal and a concentrated evil. Hmm, what could Mr. Your Willy be doing? Well, join in after this commercial break. Do 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 buy this popcorn in this bag. It's tasty popcorn, tasty popcorn. Wow, that was a boring commercial. All I was about was tasty popcorn. No cupcakes or anything was involved. It made me sad. Had to cut the commercial short. I don't even have nukes in this world, so I can't nuke the world. <laughs> okay, so this Bees conductor er, or condenser cannot put taint in there, won't work. But if I have the concentrated evil, put that in there, and then I put a taint crystal in here, it will work. It will take taint from the environment, and by the way, I was mistaken. I thought that it took the bees from the crystal, but I think it actually takes it from the environment, so it doesn't really matter what crystal you put in here, it will just take beast from the environment and pump it into the system here so you can see it's kind of like the black orbs which usually are expelling are actually getting retracted in and so it's not going to use that tank crystal at all it's just using it as a conductor basically obviously full moons are more effective you know moon phases and all that and i could put another one here to speed it up i think the concentrated singularity improves speed or something like that so i might research that one next and as you can see it's putting purely taint in here where the other ones put purely beast this will put purely taint 
That's why I made it out of one of these um, reinforced tanks, because the reinforced tank won't explode. At least I'm hoping it won't explode. It kind of seems silly if the reinforced one explodes at 100%, which would, would make me cry, actually. But yeah. So, let's see. Hey, Naruto, what's up? What do I got in here? Oh, I got a lot of good stuff in here. Oh, let's see. Good, it's turning tonight. So I can show you guys what I was going to show you earlier about this charm of the dead. I should probably make a cactus farm too while I'm at it some time. Make some deserty looking one. Uh ha, huh, that's where my bread went. I'm like, I know I have a ton of bread. Where did it all go? It didn't go anywhere, it was just hiding from me. So yeah. Okay. So I wanted to do that because this area, as you can see, has a ton of taint in the area. Five thousand taint. And I don't want this area to become a tainted environment. So I'm basically purifying the area by putting it in here and if I wanted to I could actually put those purifiers eventually through here and it'll take it and actually burn up the, the taint um, with the purifiers but because I don't have the purifier I can't do that hmm actually you know what I want to do too I want to bring these uh, this with me and I swear I had two pumpkins but if I don't, I'll just get some pumpkins. That's not too hard. I still have my spawner, which I will show you actually in the live stream what I wanted to do with this light. Uh, this, and I actually do need these too. I don't need that. I need more of these, but so I need the iron at least. Okay. Sun is setting. I live in the west coast of the USA. Good old west coast. Where it rains too much. Oh no! Why would a creeper explode on you? Did you insult it? They don't like being insulted. Take you. And you. And you, and you. Oh my goodness. So much. Alright. Now we got some more books, which is awesome because I need the books. And two pumpkins. I know, I'm hitting you with my sword. Oh my gosh, it's the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, hitting creepers with sticks. They don't like that. I'm not sure why, but they don't seem to. All right, so here's a spider. Obviously not on dead, so walking over to me and trying to kill me. Now, there's an angry zombie. You see the little particles effects? That's showing that it's ignoring me. If the particle effects are happening, it means it will aggro zombies of its own kind. And it's in here, but you can see it's wearing down, so I don't need it in my hop bar. Now, it's a nice thing to have in your hotbar because, well, that happens. Hey, you can even attack it without it attacking you back. How useful is that? Um, it's nice having it in your hotbar because then you know exactly how much left you got. How much of it you got left. Yeah, how much left you got of it. That's logical right there. All right, so I'm going to put my spawner in here so I don't lose it. And the craftings of that. Put the brain away. Let's make a bookshelf. One bookshelf. Ow, hey, hey, hey. I don't even have my sword ready, jerk. Ow. The pain, the pain, it hurts. All right. I thought I had enough to make more than one book. I do, oh, I'm out of wood, that's what it is. 
thankfully I have the right wood right here. So let's just dump that in there. There, more books. You are finished. Hopefully you didn't destroy it. I don't think it will destroy it, it just takes longer to make. So more percentage, the faster it will research, basically. So, all right, Isaac, see you later. Uh, I got the spawner. Uh, one second, let me get rid of this creeper first. Don't blow up my stuff. Don't blow up my stuff. Okay. That was weird. It's like collision box fail. Um I'm just gonna make it day. Oh by the way, that uh this will affect uh, skeletons as well, because they're considered undead. Um I use uh dust. The dust mod that I have um, with this stuff use this and this and you can collect mob spawners but it turns it into a pig spawner so if I put it down I got a pig spawner I'll show you later this episode um, or this live stream it's confused and on fire but uh, I'll show you later what it actually does hmm. it's taking its time all right, so let's put this away. Now, what is the sword of the Zephyr? It's a thomic sword, four or three of these vaporous and enchanted wood. Well, thankfully I have three vaporous, but I need more thomic ingots. So how do I make a thomic ingot? Well, that's simple. And I need some enchanted wood, which I swear I had some enchanted wood. It's probably in this chest over here. Yes. Oh, I have more Thalmic ingots. So never mind. I won't show you how to make one. <laughs> I'm evil like that. I am recording while I'm streaming at the same time. I'm amazing like that. So if I go into a crafting table, like so, project table, nope, okay. Yes, I just made a bread out of that. But that's okay. Outside of putting it back and forth. So, there is a thomic sword, which is like an uh, which is kind of like a iron sword or diamond sword, but has I think more durability. Either that or it has about the same. But the primary use of it is to go like so after you get the recipe and get the sword of the zephyr. Now, the sword of the zephyr is an awesome sword because it's a sword and if you right click it launches you forward you can kind of fly with it not very effectively by the way but you can definitely uh, get far distances that's awesome and it will use the durability as you use the flying ability so see like that's the best for flying I pretty much used it right before I hit the ground now it's kind of hard to fly because you gotta aim straight up and yeah but yeah that's one use for it the mo most use for it is to right click and launch yourself towards monsters like that now see I right clicked it but instead of going towards the monster the monster went towards me so that's uh how you can attract monsters you don't want. Oh, that's right, this lake was frozen. Hmm, this will be interesting to fix. 